You're watching Tag TV. India is well known around the world owing to its historical background, diverse cultures and interesting traditions. Its ancient scriptures and texts have been the way of life of its people for thousands of years. Today, the country is taking huge strides in the various fields of art and science, paving a way towards a progressive India. So friends, I am your host Shreya Savajay and today in our episode of My India, we will take a look at some of the stories that very well showcase the diverse culture and prosperity of our country stretching from Himalayas to Kanyakumari. It is said that dance and drama are the best ways of portraying stories and emotions. Since ages, traditional Indian dance forms have been recognized and appreciated by the whole world. Indian dance forms like Kathak, Bharatnatyam and Kuchipudi have gained immense popularity. In today's episode, we will take you to the Khajurao Dance Festival, where these beautiful dance forms are performed to showcase India's vibrant culture. A report. Dance enthusiasts from around the world gathered at the open-air auditorium in front of Vishwanatha Temple in Madhya Pradesh city of Khajurao to be part of the Khajurao Dance Festival. Each year, the festival is organized by the Madhya Pradesh Kala Parishad to highlight the richness of traditional Indian dance forms. I have performed in the Khajurao Festival. I have been an artist who has been in the Khajurao Festival. I have 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 been in the Khajurao Festival. A celebration of various Indian dance forms. The week-long festival is organized in the backdrop of Vishwanatha and Chitragupta temples. <laughs> Classical dance styles like Kathak, Bharatnatyam, Manipuri, Kuchipuri and Kathakali are highlighted in the festival. <laughs> Artists of national and international repute were also felicitated for their contribution to various dance forms. मैं शुक्र गुजार हूँ और धन्यवाद देती हूँ मध्य प्रदेश कल्चरल डिपार्टमेंट को और साथ में यहाँ जिन लोगों ने जो कमेटी में बैठे थे उनका आशीर्वाद उनका प्यार लोगों का प्यार मध्य प्रदेश के उन सब का आशीर्वाद रूप मुझे काली दास सम्मान मिला The celebration of the art of dance against the backdrop of ancient temples, which are UNESCO's World Heritage Site, also is a treat to the eye that attracts visitors and dance enthusiasts from around the world. Sufism in India has commonly been viewed as an eternal quest for love towards humanity that knows no boundaries of faith. This is visible at various Sufi shrines across the nation. This week, we take you to the Darga of Hazrat Sayyid Atta Ullah Shah in the Bengaluru city of Karnataka, where people from all faiths come regularly to offer prayers and wish for their well-being. Take a look. Hundreds of devotees cutting across the religious lines come to the Darga of Hazrat Sayyid Atta Ullah Shah situated in the city of Bangalore in Karnataka. The Darga witnesses a large number of pilgrims coming together in the spirit of humanity to offer prayers at the Darga. They offer holy chadas at the shrine while praying for the well-being of all the people in the country. 
आप खुद देख रहे हैं कि आज पे हिंदू लेडीज आ रहे हैं मुस्लिम्स आ रहे हैं तमिल के लोग आ रहे हैं सिख आ रहे क्रिश्चियंस आ रहे हैं मुसलमान सब लोग मिलजुल कर आ रहे हैं अपना जो भी दिल में है उनके लिए जो भी मांगना होता है प्रेयर जैसे कि एक उनकी ख्वाहिश होती है कि मैं यहाँ से आऊँ इनसे अच्छे दिल से कुछ मांगूँ तो यहाँ से मुझे मिलेगा तो मैं अच्छी कुछ मुझे को कामयाबी मिलेगी नहीं नहीं यहाँ ना नहीं, नहीं, नहीं कोई अभी सब लोग आते हैं यहाँ पे कोई को किसी को रोक टोक नहीं है इस जगह पे यहाँ नहीं कि आप देख सकते हैं कि हिंदुस्तान के कोई भी दरगाह आप चले जाए जैसे अजमेर शरीफ है आप बम्बई गंज हाजी अली चले जाए माहिम चले जाए दरगाह होल्ड ग्रेट सिग्निफिकेंस एज इट वेलकम्स पीपल ऑफ ऑल फेथ टू सीक वन विद गॉड and plays a distinctive role in narrowing the religious boundaries and boosting secularism in the nation hum hindu rahe tab bhi hamara ka allah bhi ek hi bhagwan hai shiva bhi ek hi bhagwan sab hame sabko bhi ek karta sabko bhi dua karta sab places like these are spread all across the nation the message of peace and brotherhood comes out loud from these dargahs and these sites have been acting as symbols of communal harmony for ages now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently More than 150 motorists driving a variety of classic cars rolled their engines on the roads of New Delhi for the city's vintage car rally on Saturday. Participants from across the globe including that from Belgium, Canada, America, France, Germany gathered at India Gate War Memorial to participate in 21 Gun Salute International Vintage Car Rally where 35 heritage bikes were also on display. इस आयोजन में पूरे भारत से और पूरी दुनिया से डेढ़ सौ गाड़ियाँ आई हैं और इसमें भारत में भी बॉम्बे पूना हैदराबाद बैंगलोर चेन्नई कोयम्बूर जयपुर उदयपुर और बहुत सारे ऐसे प्रदेशों से यहाँ गाड़ियाँ पहुँची हैं उसके साथ ही साथ बेल्जियम कनाडा अमेरिका फ्रांस जर्मनी इन सभी स्थानों से गाड़ियां यहां पहुंच देशों से गाड़ियां यहां पहुंची हैं मोटर एंथुसियास्ट टुक अ राइड फ्रॉम इंडिया गेट टू करमा लेक लैंड्स इन नॉर्दर्न गुरुग्राम सिटी अ पार्टिसिपेंट फ्रॉम इंडियाज वेस्टर्न मुंबई सिटी अनोश श्रॉफ सेड द कार रैली वाज अ गुड एक्सपीरियंस एज इट हेल्प्स पीपल टू लर्न अबाउट कार्स ऑफ द बाइगन एरा ये इसका बहुत अच्छी एक्सपीरियंस होती है क्योंकि हम सब हमारे दोस्त लोग को मिलते हैं साथ में गाड़ी चलाने को मिलता है और ये गाड़ी चला इसलिए ही आती है कि दुनिया देख सके लोग देख सके सबको एक्सपीरियंस हो कि ओल्ड का ओल्ड टाइम की गाड़ी कैसे कैसे चलाते हैं कैसे कैसे चलती है कैडिलेक रोल्स रॉयल्स बेंटली वोक्स वैगन 1939 Buick Roadmaster Convertible Sedan, 1959 Jaguar 10K 15OS, 1966 Ford Mustang, Maserati 3500 GT Spider, Big Male were among some of the vehicles taking part, said media reports. India's customs department has rolled out a first of its kind batch of canines in the country on Saturday which is specially trained to carry out anti-smuggling operations at the border. Chief Commissioner Directorate of Logistics Suresh Kishnani said dogs are being trained to sniff our increasing cross-border smuggling cases of volatile substances. Apart from sniffing the dogs will also be trained to behave and maintain calm in adverse situations and chase smugglers. The customs department has sanctioned 70 million rupees for the development of this custom dogs training academy so far. International border pe jo smuggling ho rahi hai volatile jo gand marti jo sugand marti hain to unko pakadne ke liye kyunki inki sniffing ki capability hai wo karna hai saath mein smuggler ko bhi pakadna hai aur jab us area mein kyunki bahut sare aur bhi passenger aate hain तो हमारे जो डॉग सेंटर है उसका ऐसा होना चाहिए कि वो जो है ग्रेनाइट और जो सोफिस्टिकेटेड एयर कंडीशन एटमॉस्फेयर में काम करता हो 
He added to avoid panic among other general passengers, the dogs should look cute and lovely instead of aggressive. There are 11 dogs in the first batch and from here on there will be 20 dogs in every batch. Indian dogs only have expertise in narcotics and explosives. With this institution, they are also trying to get expertise on tobacco, wildlife and currency. Moving on, Japanese technologies are bringing revolution in the world around. A leading Japanese technology firm, NEC, has recently partnered with Australia to develop security system for the performing art venues. And another Japanese technological giant, Shimizu, has developed artificially intelligent suitcases for the people who are facing physical challenges in their lives. We have a report. In late 2018, an agreement was reached for NEC Australia to become the transformative partner for one of the most progressive and well-known registered entertainment venues in the state of West HQ in Sydney's West. West HQ, in collaboration with NEC Developing Technology Solutions for one of Australia's leading performing arts venues. It is creating an innovation centre deploying NEC technology of IT infrastructure, CCTV security and public safety with world's leading customer experience. Where the Sydney Coliseum is representative that we now are one of Sydney's landmark destinations. So as a landmark destination, iconic, something similar that would be representative of the Opera House and the Sydney Coliseum Theatre like the London Coliseum Theatre and so forth just, be, just evolved. The thing I loved about NEC was that you could throw them a question and they'd say, we solve it. It's about creating technology or having solutions for customers for tomorrow. Now that's amazing because we're building a destination for the future, not for yesterday, for the future. And that's what we're all about. And, and, and NEC, just God love them, they just fit and, and th their vision was similar. The vision of West HQ and NEC is to create the ultimate customer experience for patrons, a seamless entry as purpose-built multi-authentication kiosk incorporating NEC leading facial recognition technology and complemented by a visual feast of NEC's LED and digital display that customer check schedule and meal information, CCTV security and the impressive flyover crystal bridge leading patrons through to the Sydney Coliseum Theatre. Pretty cool and look it was it was it was the thing that I was very passionate about and the the, the screen that we've the NEC LED screen that we've put on the floor there is the first of its kind in Australia in that kind of configuration. Um, it's become a huge feature point for our patron arrival. We wanted to make a statement as people came in across the bridge, which is our front door effectively, which in, in, in and of itself is unusual. We wanted to make a statement that this was something special. And by judging by the number of photos that have appeared on Instagram of people doing everything from taking selfies to dancing on it, um, it's been a bit of a hit. NEC Technology Solutions will bring envy to many venues as it sets a benchmark for delivering seamless customer experience for all registered entertainment venues across the country. In recent years, the number of people with visual impairment is on the rise due to age-related issues which has led to the onset of eye disease such as glaucoma. People with such impairment face a number of challenges among these, one of the largest hurdles that prevent social participation is the inability to move around freely. Shimizu Corporation Institute of Technology in Tokyo hosted a press conference to announce the establishment of Consortium for Advanced Assistive Mobility Platform. It is aiming to improve accessibility in society and quality of life for the visually impaired. The consortium will develop an integrated technological solution, AI Suitcase, that will support people's transport and communication with AI and will conduct pilot experiment and demonstration towards ultimate implementation in society. 
The consortium was inspired by the research that IBM fellow Chaiko Asakawa conducted at Carnegie Mellon University, US on navigation for the visually impaired. <laughs> Multiple companies in various fields of business will bring together their technologies and expertise to develop AI suitcase. Shimizu Corporation is offering advice and technology based on their know-how regarding public space, indoor and outdoor navigation, and robotics as well as the administrative and accounting feature required for running the association. そういったものをですね、中に実装いたしまして、それによって視覚障害者の方を誘導するということになります。ただ視覚障害者の方ですね、やはりどうやって視覚障害者の方に情報を伝えるかというのも一つの重要な技術ですので、through pilot experiment, the companies will identify the requirement for social implementation and aim to achieve a solution that resolves transport and communication issue for the visually impaired. Ingrained with rich values and various beliefs, India is known for its diverse religions and unique traditions. Showcasing this diversity and unity of India, a painting competition was organized in the Siliguri city of West Bengal, where children from different backgrounds participated in the event and portrayed the culture and religions of India through their paintings. Take a look. India is a multi-ethnic and multi-religious society. For centuries, the country has given a wide space for different religions to flourish and permeated a sense of unity among its residents. With passing time, the sense of oneness has further emboldened among the citizens. The sense of unity could be very well witnessed in the new generation too. Highlighting this tradition of unity amidst diversity, a large number of children coming from different backgrounds took part in a sit and draw competition in the Siliguri city of West Bengal. Unity and diversity. How did you show these things in, through your picture, drawing? Um, I drew the father of nation, Mahatma Gandhi, and different religions to show that everyone is equal, no one is different in India. The paintings and drawings of these young children were far-reaching and creative enough to make elders proud and envy at the same time. <laughs> अगर बच्चों के बच्चों के दिमाग में इसे बीत जाएगा तो फिर और सोचने का कोई बात नहीं है The vibrant and colorful drawings the children made during the competition certainly put a picture of a culturally rich and united country that holds hues of religions languages and diversity that are nowhere to be seen in the world Lands of varied traditions and interesting cultures, the architecture of Indian monuments derives its roots from ancient Indian history, culture and different religions. A number of regional styles and traditions have paved the way for both ancient Hindu and Indo-Islamic architectures to come into existence. Recently, a 3D exhibition was organized in the national capital, New Delhi, to provide a glance of the rich architecture of India. Have a look. 
miniature Taj Mahal along with other temples and forts were recreated recently at the National Art Gallery located in New Delhi. Titled International Heritage Symposium and Exhibition, these 3D models were exhibited to showcase Indian heritage in digital space. Organized by the Indian Institute of Technology, Delhi, the exhibition is jointly sponsored by the Department of Science and Technology and Karnataka State Council for Science and Technology. पहले तो ये लेजर स्कैनिंग से सारा डेटा इसका हमने कलेक्ट किया था इसके लिए डिपार्टमेंट साइंस टेक्नोलॉजी ने जो हमें प्रोत्साहन दिया था उसके अंदर हमें डेटा भी दिया गया था उसके साथ हमने इनके डिजिटल मॉडल क्रिएट किए और जिसको फिर थ्री डी प्रिंटिंग में लेके गए मटेरियल जो थ्री डी प्रिंटिंग में यूज़ होता है वो एक पॉलीमर होता है बायोडिग्रेडेबल उसको पी बोलते हैं मोस्टली वो यूज़ किया जाता है हम लोगों ने इसका इस्तेमाल किया The IHSC highlights the work done under various initiatives for digitizing heritage and showcases the first ever public digital preservation work that has been undertaken in India using cutting edge AR, VR, MR and AI technologies. The exhibition is showcasing fabricated 3D models of five Indian monuments including that of Agra's Taj Mahal, Konak's Sun Temple and Varanasi's Vishwanath Temple. Along with 3D models of these architectural marvels, animated video stories and documentaries will also be shown to children and locals so as to educate them regarding the history and formation of the monument. कश्मीर से लेकर कन्याकुमारी तक एक विशाल सांस्कृतिक संपत्ति है यहाँ पर ये जो यहाँ एग्जीबिशन लगाई गई है उसमें से उनमें से कुछ को चुन करके और उसका एक जीवंत प्रदर्शन यहाँ पर देखने को मिला है जो कि बहुत ही ज़्यादा प्रभावी भी है उत्साहवर्धक भी है और जिन्होंने भी ये सारा काम किया है बहुत ही अच्छा काम किया है Minister of Science and Technology Dr Harsh Vardhan visited the exhibition recently He emphasized on the fact that this exhibition should be made permanent in order to bring school going children and parents to learn about ancient Indian culture and heritage ये सारी की सारी चीज़ें 3D प्रिंटिंग करके जो है ये यहाँ पर प्रस्तुत की गई हैं एक एक स्थान को यहाँ प्रस्तुत करने के लिए कितने सारे उसके अंश जो है वो प्रिंट किए गए हैं उनको जोड़ा गया है लेकिन अभी यहाँ देख के आपको एक फील होता है उसमें आप डिजिटल तरीके से वॉक थ्रू कर सकते हैं आप यहाँ बैठ के इमेजिन कर सकते हैं कि ताजमहल के अंदर ऐसे आप लाइव जा रहे हैं तो ये टूरिज्म की दृष्टि से भी बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है द फाउंडेशन फॉर द एग्जीबिशन वॉज लेड अंडर द इंडियन डिजिटल हेरिटेज प्रोजेक्ट विच वॉज अ यूनिक इनिशिएटिव ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सपोर्टिंग कोलाबोरेटिव प्रोजेक्ट बिटवीन रिसर्चर्स इन द एरियाज ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड ह्यूमैनिटीज for the digital documentation and interpretation of our tangible and intangible heritage that's all we have for you this week your comments and suggestions are important to us do give us your feedback at myindia@nin.com i'm your host shreya sabaje and it's goodbye from the entire production team